G'day, I'm Matt Davey. My swarm prevention method is called opening the sides of the brood nest, or OSBN. It's now uh, three or four weeks before our swarm season, and so we need to get in and, and make sure that the bees have enough room. And we do that by putting space on the outsides of the brood nest. Now I've checked this hive a few days ago and they had six frames of brood in the middle and then two frames on each side of honey. So what we're going to do is we've got a frames, two frames here called OSBN frames. They're a partial foundation and see they're cut into a wedge shape there. And so I've labelled them as well, if you can see the label on there. I've made two of those. Obviously when you cut it like that you get extra pieces. And so those pieces have been glued in like that. So you've got two frames from one sheet of plastic foundation. So these two frames in the middle will be going down into the bottom box and the outside frames of honey will be coming up into the middle of this new box here. So it is mostly foundation. The only one here that's slightly drawn out is this plastic one here. It's got a bit of uh, pollen in it as well. So we'll put this one down in the bottom box. It's always good to have a bit of drawn comb. We have our OSBN frame here and we'll put that on the other side of the brood nest and they'll encourage wax making because of these big areas, these holes here, and the bees will want to fill those, those holes with comb. And at this time of year, they fill those holes with drone comb. Because that's what their focus is, is on preparing for swarm season, getting the drones, and that's what the comb is drawn at, at this time of year. Now you could always use a wax foundation like this. This has been cut diagonally and so you've got this big area where it, there's no wax and they'll put honeycomb in that area. And of course we have our normal frames of foundation. We've also got plastic foundation here. And I suggest that you coat the plastic foundation with wax because uh, it, it is harder to get the bees to draw out foundation uh, when it's plastic. So if it's got a good wax coating, it'll be drawn out a lot easier. All right, so let's uh, get into the, the hive and uh, we'll show you what we do there. So you can see that's a frame of honey there. So what I want to do is place that this frame in the top. So I'll just pull this one out, put these ones down. So there you can see the brood, 
and that's a very nice brew pattern there quite solid and again on this side so there's our brood nest so we'll put our OSBN frame down in there you can see how full this hive is that means it's a good time to be doing it so we put our OSBN frame down in this side So I'm just removing the burr comb just so when I pull it up it doesn't tear all the comb on the side. Alright, so this should be a frame of honey as well. Yep. And it's got quite a bit of nectar in there. And there is a few eggs. There's no larvae as yet, but there's a few eggs. But um, when we put these in the middle, the queen always goes and puts the brood nest right in between the two honey frames anyway. So I'm not too concerned that there are a few um, eggs or even young larvae in that middle part of these two honey frames. I'll just let the bees move before I push that all the way down. And so I'll put this uh, partially drawn frame in here. And this is on the edge of our brood nest here. Summarising what we've done here, we've taken a frame of honey here and a frame of honey here, both second frames in from the edge, and put those honey frames directly in the middle. The queen usually comes up in the middle of those two honey frames and starts a brood nest anyway. So even though we had a few eggs on there, I'm not too concerned because that's where the queen will usually come up and start brood nest in, in between those two honey frames. So we've got an OSBN frame here which will encourage wax making and we've got a partially uh, drawn foundation here which will also encourage wax making. Now in this top box I've got another OSBN frame here and that will again um, encourage wax making and then we've got a full sheet of foundation on the other side of these two honey frames. So we'll put them back together and we'll come back in a couple of weeks and see what they've done with that. Right, happy beekeeping.